So, April 23rd, 2019 marks the one year anniversary of one of the worst terrorist attacks committed on, on Canadian soil. When some fucking freak named Alec Manassian, who was 25 at the time, <clears throat> decided to drive a rental van down the sidewalk on Young Street, which is one of the busiest streets in Toronto, and ran over and murdered a whole bunch of innocent um, civilians who were on the sidewalk. So he murdered 10 of these civilians and uh, injured another 15 by driving this rental van over them. Unfortunately, he was taken into custody alive. Like initially, the initial, the first uh, police officer that had contact with him ordered him out of the van at gunpoint. And this guy even made a gesture like he was pulling a gun out of his, uh, pulling out a gun to shoot at the police, even though he wasn't. Unfortunately, this police officer decided to take him alive into police custody. Personally, I wish this police officer would have blown his head off. But he got taken alive into police custody. He was charged with 10 counts of murder and 15 counts of attempted murder. Now, it's just in the wee hours. It's approximately 4 a.m. on Tuesday, April 23rd. I would imagine they're probably going to have some some memorials memorializing this awful event one of the worst crime one of the worst uh, acts of terrorism committed on Canadian soil all I remember was going into work that day well I was at work for a while and one of my other co-workers who was a part-timer I work full-time but she was a part-timer she showed up a couple hours after I started work and she was mentioning, oh, I just heard something about a van, like a van driving on a sidewalk in Toronto. But this was in the early stages of the, of the attack, shortly after it happened. So details were scarce at that point. And, you know, I have some friend, we have some friends of the family that live in that area of Toronto. Like along the north end of Young Street towards the north end of Toronto. Uh, thankfully, I didn't know any anyone that was injured or killed in this attack, in this horrific attack. Thank goodness I didn't. Nevertheless... Well, quite frankly, I hope Alec Manassian, um, the perpetrator of this attack, I personally hope he gets murdered in jail. I hope, since Canada does not have the death penalty, and I do wish we did have the death penalty, but since Canada does not have the death penalty, I'm hoping this piece of shit gets life in jail with no chance of parole ever. I hope he does get 250 years in jail. I hope this guy never has the opportunity to apply for parole. Ever. And this worthless loser, Alec Manassian, it's come to light that this, what motivated this horrible attack is that he is a member of incel. In other words, involuntarily a uh, celibate. He basically went murdering a bunch of people because this fucking loser can't get a date. You know, he can't, he can't find a woman to have sex with. 
Well, no wonder you can't get a date because you're a psychopathic, sick piece of shit. I hope you're getting lots of dates in jail from guys, Nick, from uh, jailhouse bullies nicknamed Bubba. Because you really are a piece of shit and you deserve the absolute worst worst that humanity can uh, can commit against you. I don't know when his trial is going to be, but I do hope he's sentenced to life in jail with no chance of parole ever. You are one of the sickest, most disgusting Canadians to ever live. And you deserve the absolute ugliest side of humanity. You deserve to be tortured. You deserve to be raped. You deserve to be beaten. To all the people who suffered as a result of this attack, my condolences on this one-year anniversary of this awful event.